Hi guys, so this is just a basic video explaining the concepts of glomerular filtration which occurs in the kidneys. Um, normally, uh, the rate at which this occurs, the GFR is 120 milliliters per minute or it can also be classified as 180, 180 sorry, liters per day. Um, the best way to think about this would be in terms of picturing a water filter such as a uh, Brita water filter uh, which I have a picture of right here and uh, this is actually the best way to think about how uh, filtration in the kidney or the nephron works and here's a picture of uh, the renal corpuscle which I've drawn um, incorporated with the Brita filter in the back. Um, it's the same concept. The uh, material which is in the red structures there um, get filtered through uh, the little space in between the red structure and the gray one um, into which is the Bowman's space and then um, into the Bowman's uh, capsule which is that gray structure right there. Um, blood comes in or plasma comes in through the afferent arterial which I labeled as A and uh, gets filtered into that tuft of capillaries there and then whatever is uh, too big to be filtered or doesn't have uh, the right charge to be filtered leaves through the efferent uh, into uh, the general circulation. Um, and uh, whatever does get filtered uh, through those uh, blue arrows such as um, you know glucose, bicarbonate, uh, PAH which is penaminohypyric acid, uh, sodium, potassium, urea, uh, creatinine, things of that nature uh, eventually go on to the proximal tubule, uh, to the loop of Henle, to the distal tubule, and then are excreted into uh, the urine. But we won't get into that right now because this is just uh, explaining just the basic concept of the filtration which occurs. So here is another picture of the renal corpuscle. Uh, the red uh, shows the afferent arterial, which is bringing blood or plasma into the glomerulus, which is the tuft of capillaries which uh, aid in the filtration. Uh, they go through that Bowman's capsule and into the tube, which is uh, initially it will be called the proximal tubule. Um, and then that's where most of the filtration in the nephron occurs. Um, also, uh, solutes or uh, certain materials or substances can also be secreted uh, into the tubule or uh, certain uh, filtrates uh, can be reabsorbed back into the body. Um, and uh, that's just uh, the basic overview or basic concept of glomerular filtration. Uh, back into the general uh, circulation via the